Made by popular 3DS modder Astronaut level, Animone is a theme manager and Luma custom firmware splash screen manager for the 3DS. It directly competes with another more well-known theme manager called Themely, though with the latest drama and problems surrounding the developer of Themely, it seems Animone may become users' next stop shop for theme management and splash screen management. Just recently, it was updated to allow scanning of theme QR codes to install directly to your 3DS without having to transfer files on a computer, something again Themely already does. Users can use 3dsthemes.es to browse and scan hundreds of unique user-created themes as well as splash images that could pop up when the 3DS is first turned on thanks to Luma's splash screen function, which must be enabled in the Luma settings when the 3DS is first turned on. Let's go ahead and check out Animone and send it for a test drive, see how it looks and functions. What is going on guys? Welcome to a showcase of Animone, a splash screen and theme manager for the 3DS of Hack 3DSs of course. So I've got a few different themes here that I've already got installed onto my SD card and they do transfer over from Themely. So I'm gonna go ahead and install one of these themes here. Let's go ahead and do the pixel punk. So if we press A, we could actually install the theme. Pretty simple. Now if we wanna install the background music, we press X to go along with it. There's also some other functions we can do, like we can install shuffle themes, and um, we can of course go and mess with the splash screens, which we'll also do right now. You can shuffle or queue up shuffles, and you can also preview each one of these themes. So if I press Y on one of these themes, we can actually go ahead and see what it looks like. If we press Y again, we'll go back. Go ahead and preview. That's a beautiful theme right there. Now let's press L. And let's check out these splash screens for Luma Custom Firmware, of course. So if you have it enabled in the settings, we can go ahead and um, turn one of these on. We can also, you cannot preview. So the splash screen manager is a lot less feature oriented than the theme manager. But I'm gonna go ahead and do S or Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's installing the splash, okay. Now let's go ahead and restart our entire 3DS. Restart. Wow, man, look how beautiful that is. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the theme is now installed. This is a super cool theme. I like the music and all the sound effects are retro. I love that. So you just saw the splash screen and you saw the theme. Now we're gonna go ahead and install a couple more here. Let's do, uh, let's do, 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 do. Let's do a uh, Firewatch. No, let's do uh, Let's Smash. So it's gonna install that. We'll install the background. Let's go ahead and switch over to the splash screens and let's go ahead and do Pixel Moon Night. Okay, restart it again. Do, 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 do. Boom. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so see how there's a text on the bottom? This is, my splash screen is set to actually come up after everything is loaded, so I can't actually press any of those buttons that you just saw, which I'll explain in just a moment here. But we have the smash uh, theme here. It's pretty busy, it's a very busy theme. And I do gotta say the startup sounds kinda interesting. Yep. Okay, so there is installing themes. We can preview the themes. Now there's a new feature, press R to scan QR codes. This is something that's already in Themely, which is super useful so that we can actually scan QR codes on your computer or a phone and be able to install a theme. Let's go ahead and check out that feature. I do gotta say that it is not as clean, but it does get the job done. Now here we are, we have a ton of themes. We are in QR scanning mode, but we need a QR code. So let's just find a really good theme. I'm really liking this Pokemon one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And uh, you can see there is a little QR code right there. And now we can go ahead and put the 3DS up to the QR code and scan it. And you don't need Themely, you can use Animon. So there, it's getting it. Let's put it up a little closer so that the light changes. And now 
What it does is it actually freezes like this. It doesn't give you any indication that it's actually doing anything or installing anything, but it is in fact installing the theme and downloading it. All right, so we should now actually have the theme if we go down below, there it is, Pokemon Evolution, downloaded just like that. So let's go ahead and restart our 3DS one more time here. I also want to demonstrate to you guys something real quick if you use a splash screen manager whatsoever. Hold select if you have Luma Custom Firmware, you can turn on your 3DS and you'll get to the Luma settings where you definitely want to turn on, uh, you want to go up to splash and you want to turn it on to after the payload start unless it's one of these splash screens that gives you some of the options to start up some of the payloads. So we can go ahead and hit before because that's what splash screen currently um, is on. See, we have all these options we can press hourglass, Eminand, all those different buttons there. That's really cool. Well, it sounds like stock sound effects, but I love the top how you can scroll. That is awesome. I love that so, so, so much. So that is it, you guys. That is Animone. Uh, it is very much work in progress still, so expect updates and whatnot, but we may see it actually surpass Themely in the future. It's a pretty nice little, it's a pretty nice little app and it's very clean and Astronaut Level has been working on it tirelessly. So we'll see where it goes. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out, Big Crew.